Hey everybody, welcome back to another midweek episode. So you know how a simple gear works? You've got one gear that's connected to another gear that's connected to another gear and, and it works together to create an, an effective machine. And there are simple and complex machines with varying number of gears involved in them. Well, I believe that our congregation is the same way. You know, the Bible talks about us as the body of Christ, but I think we can also think of ourselves in terms of a, a machine with a number of different gears. And we're exploring that this year as a staff as we've worked through uh, a process called Working Genius. It uses six different gears which spell out the word widget. W is for wonder. These are people who are looking at the world saying, hmm, I wonder why it is the way that it is. And does it have to stay that way? How can we do things differently? The I is for invention. These are people who, who now apply themselves to coming up with as many ideas as possible to try to, to make things better and move things forward. The D is for discernment. Those who, who have the gift of filtering through all of the different ideas and determining what is best and what's going to actually work. G is for those who galvanize, those who pull other people together around a project, around a task and say, hey, let's make this happen. E is for enablement, those who are willing to pitch in and roll up their sleeves and make things happen. They're the ones who do the work. And then T is for tenacity. These are the people that are there making sure that the task is followed through to the finish. And we need all of those people to make things move forward. And I think about this widget as in a couple of weeks, we're going to have an event here at St. John's called the Congregation Creative. It's a part of our strategic planning process. And really, we're looking for people who are strong in the W and the I. We're looking for people who, who have a creativity that God's Spirit is stirring inside of them to throw out all kinds of different ideas and see how we can take some of the problems that we're facing and, and look at the possibilities that lie ahead. How we can begin to make things better. How, how we can help people to experience the love of Jesus. How we can extend hope to the community around us. And so I just want to personally invite you to come and be a part of that. It's October 22nd at 6.30 in the evening here at church. It's about a 90-minute event, and we're going to put you at tables. Uh, we're, we're going to provide some conversation questions for you that will hopefully stir your imagination and you'll be able to bounce things off of each other. And through that, then we're going to begin to discern what are those strategic initiatives that we want to go after as a congregation as we move forward. And here's what I'm confident of. I'm confident that God is able to do immeasurably more than all we could ask or imagine. That's Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. So, let your imagination be stirred. If your working genius is more in the W, the wonder, or the I, the, the imaginative ideation side of things, this is an event we want you at. We want a variety of voices from a variety of perspectives so that together as a church, we can move forward. We can find those gears where one connects to the other as we finish the task that God has for us. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.